Oh gosh. Morning everyone. It's uh, way too early to be awake. It's about half past five Saturday morning. And what's going on here? Well, you join me in 6.4 litre V8 Dodge Durango SRT. Um, what I need to do first before I explain what on earth is going on is start the car and make a brisk exit so that my neighbours do not kill me when I return home. Oh, it's noisy. So, I am in a 2019 Dodge Durango for a very good reason. Um, I am basically about to drive to Italy via France and Switzerland um, as essentially a support vehicle on a very small convoy with an Aston DB5 and an AC Frua, which has a 7 litre 428 Cobra engine. I've got 6.4 litres of V8 goodness. Uh, about 475 brake horsepower this thing. I think it will do north 60 in 4.4 seconds. Um, top speed about 180. And it's just a beast. Uh, obviously you'll notice it's left hand drive. So for those of you in America, for once I'm not on the wrong side of the car. Um, which obviously in the UK is a little bit bizarre where I am now. Um, but where we're going on the continent is perfect. So uh, yeah, so look, this trip's gonna be amazing. Today I'm literally uh, just got up, gonna go get my friend who's gonna be my co-driver. Uh, perhaps we'll introduce you to him later on. And then straight down to folks in about two hours or so to jump on the Euro Tunnel uh, this morning at about nine o'clock. Well guys, conveniently on my travels, uh, the Hindhead Tunnel is right in front of me. It'd be pretty rude not to uh, crack a window. Just have a little listen to this 6.4 litre. So I wanna put it in, uh, how do I do this? SRT, I'm gonna put it in my custom mode, which puts everything in manual and in track. Let's go down to second gear. Seb is now with me in the car, I picked Seb up, he's my co-driver for this trip and uh, I apologise I haven't been able to give you a walk around of the car yet, we sort of got here in a bit of a rush and had to go straight on the train so that will come all in good time but yeah this has just proven to be an excellent cruiser, now I've got to pay attention because this thing is massive, try not to curb anything um, as we go on the train because as you can probably guess this is not my car so I definitely do not want to damage it at all. Anyway, uh, yeah not really much to report other than Eurotunnel. It's a bit interesting at the moment with Covid you cannot get out of your car whilst you're on the crossing but it's only half an hour or so so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah really looking forward to getting on the continent again. Road trip season is finally here and hopefully with Covid and restrictions and everything, everything is all good. Anyway, I will shut up now, uh, try and get this on the train without causing any damage, and I'll guess I'll check in with you guys when we're in France. What can I do? What can I say? Please make it undone. What you did to me, I was so caught up when you happened to me. Make it undone, cause my heart is breaking. What can I do? of this 6.4 litre beer, I think it is. You're saying it's 6.2. I think it's 6.4. I'll I'll have to work this out. Have to work it out It said 6.4 somewhere I read, but you're right, 392. Yeah, who knows? 392 if you're Anyway, uh, progress update. Uh, we are coming up to Nancy uh, and Rim, Rames, Rims, Rims, Rames, Rims, 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 um, the famous place with the old racetrack. Um, I don't think we're stopping there today, but anyway, this car has been the perfect cruiser. What are we averaging in terms of about 18 miles 18 per gallon? 18.3, which is 
which isn't tremendously bad. No, it's this does have that system where it will shut off four four cylinders. Um, anyway, I thought I'd just quickly take the chance while I'm not driving to explain exactly what's going on. I can't remember how much I've explained. Today's really just been a bit of a blur. We are on a road trip with uh, our friends from Brooklyn's Cars. Uh, they're in a DB5 and also we've got a AC Frewer with us. Uh, so two cars and then ourselves in this Dodge Durango SRT. Uh, so we are essentially the support vehicle and all we're doing is driving down to Grosseto in Italy where we're spending a week basically chilling out. Um, but in the meantime, obviously we're driving through France, staying in uh, Troyes tonight, Chamonix tomorrow near the foothills of the Alps and then over the St. Bernard Pass in Switzerland, down into Italy if all goes well and then it will basically be along the west coast of Italy to Grosseto. Um, so Grosseto is sort of between Rome and Pisa, sort of that side of, the, of the, the west of Italy. So that's the plan anyway. In terms of the content plan, obviously this is going to bring you some road trip content as you're seeing now. Um, and we should be having some fun with this Durango. Maybe I'll try and bring you some sort of driving review. Um, but really this is just a crazy pinch yourself moment where I've been chucked the keys to this 500 brake horsepower near as um, Todd's Durango, which isn't even mine to drive to Italy so it's just incredible I had to bring you along and, and had to film it of course and like I say if you're interested we're here with a freaking Aston Martin DB5 and AC Frewer both extremely value car, valuable cars I'm sure I don't have to tell you um, and just actually quite a sight on the roads um, so yeah just amazing to be in a convoy um, with them and yeah like I said Seb's with me we're splitting the driving and it should be a lot of fun so yeah, I don't know what else is going to be in this video. I'll film a few more bits as we go and see what happens for the rest of the day. But uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. And I'll catch up with you guys. So everyone, we've made it to our first stop on this road trip. We're in I don't know how you pronounce it, it's spelled T-R-O-Y-E-S. Um, sort of near Paris, a bit further down than Reim. Uh, but right behind me there is the Dodge Durango. I realise I haven't shown you around the car yet, so maybe I'll do it now. I apologise, I'm in a sort of badly lit car park, but yeah, here it is. So it's a 6.4 litre V8, I think. Uh, 392 badge there on the side. The thing is massive, but it has just been such a fantastic cruiser. Uh, today. Next to us we've got the Aston DB5 parked here. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, if you guys know anything about classics then you'll know exactly what this is. Really, really special car. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show you some more of that when we get on the mountain passes in the coming days. But yeah, you can see next to the DB5 just how big this Durango is. And if I walk down the car park a little bit more I'll show you the other car that's on my convoy. Little Tesla Model 3 charging there. Uh, we've got an AC Frewer, uh, which I mentioned earlier. Looks absolutely stunning, actually, the paint in the sunlight. But here it is parked up, tucked away for the night uh, before tomorrow we head down to Chamonix uh, in the foothills of the Alps. But yeah, this thing has got a 7.2 litre V8 block in it, which is ridiculous. It sounds amazing, as does the DB5. But anyway, That'll be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I uh, hope you're looking forward to future road trip content coming up. Um, I really can't wait to bring it to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and I'll see you guys very, very soon.